We have got the theta equation, phi equation, and the r equation, and we have also got the solutions of theta equation and phi equation, and a solution for r equation. Okay, so that solution we can use it for further things. We needed from r, uh, we wanted uh, that what will be the uh, energy of the uh, particle that is revolving around the nucleus. Uh, what will be the uh, energy for that particle. So that is energy of an electron that we can easily find it out uh, by using the beta term and from beta we can find out what is the uh, amount of energy uh, associated with that particle. So our aim was for that and that could be easily solved. Similarly, if uh, R can also be used for uh, S orbitals. For uh, P and Q, uh, D orbitals or F and G orbitals, uh, L is a non-zero term. We have L non-zero, more than zero for uh, P, D, F, uh, etc. orbitals. But for S orbitals, L is equal to zero. So as L will be equal to zero there, so M will also be equal to zero because we have seen that M is minus L to plus L. So it will be from minus zero to plus zero, that is, it will be having only zero. So M and L both will be zero there. So we will have only R term will be there. So that R term will be uh, necessary for defining uh, what will be the shape of that S orbital. We know that it is spherical, but uh, what should be the radius for that? If it is 1s, 2s, 3s, then uh, what should be the uh, overall uh, radius of that uh, orbital, uh, S orbitals, uh, when we go from uh, one quantum number to another principal quantum number? So, uh, for that purpose, we can have it, this R values can be obtained. Similarly, R for uh, 1s, 2s, 3s orbitals, uh, there will be number of nodes will be increasing. Nodes are those things which has zero probability of finding a particle. If there is a zero probability of finding a particle, then that point we call it as a node. And if there is a maximum amount of uh, probability of finding a particle, not 100%, but maximum. So if it is maximum, then we call that point as an anti node. It is opposite of the node, so it has maximum probability and minimum probability point, we call it as a node. Here minimum probability is zero. So whenever there is a zero probability of finding a particle, we call that point as a zero point or a node point. Uh, then we have uh, the wave functions, complete wave functions. Or atomic orbitals. These wave functions are nothing but atomic orbitals. And as we are dealing with hydrogen or hydrogen-like atoms, so atomic orbitals of hydrogen like atoms a complete wave function can be given as we had uh, just written that psi of nlm where nlm are quantum numbers of r, theta, and pi, which are variables, can be expressed as r of nl, because in r equation, we had two quantum numbers, n and l, uh, which is variable of r only, then p, where it were only l and m were there, uh, the quantum numbers, and it is varying with theta, and f of m, where in pi equation, we had only M term, so only f of m, uh, which is variable of phi. So that we can also write it as r nl of r into angular portion where l and m are the variables to theta and phi, where nlm are quantum numbers. 
जब भी आपको इक्वेशन लिखने के लिए बोले जाए तो उसमें जो टर्म्स इन्वॉल्व है दिस ऑल्सो नीड्स टू बी रिटर्न प्रॉपरली देन ओनली इट विल बी ए प्रॉपर इक्वेशन तो दीज आर क्वांटम नंबर यूज टू कैरेक्टराइज वेव फंक्शन दट इज विच वेव फंक्शन दे आर और विच ऑर्बिटल दे आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल फॉर एन इज इक्वल टू वन एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड एम इज इक्वल टू जीरो वेव फंक्शन इज Wave function can be written as psi of one zero zero. The first term, which is the uh, principal quantum number, the second term is azimuthal quantum number, and third term is magnetic quantum number. So psi of one zero zero can be written as two uh, z upon a zero raised to three by two exponential. Of minus Z R upon A zero into one upon root two into one upon root two pi. So this will be the equation wave function, complete wave function. When we take the radial portion, we take the azimuthal uh, and the uh, zenith angles. Azimuthal, zenith angles, as well as the Uh, radial uh, distributions. If we take it, then we get this particular equation for uh, quantum number n equals one, n equals zero, and n equals to zero. If we solve it, if we will, this is easier to solve. What we have to do is, ये जो one upon root two and one upon root two pi है, इसको अगर आप multiply करोगे, तो ये root two and ये root two totally two हो जाएगा. So it will be. Two into z upon a zero raised to three by two into exponential of minus z r upon a zero into one upon two root pi. Now a two or a two cancel it at times. So this will be z. Uh, one upon root five into z upon a zero raised to three by two exponential of minus z r by a zero. This will be our uh, psi of one zero zero. Now, if we take it in terms of atomic units for a hydrogen-like atom, we are solving it. So, hydrogen-like atom may atomic number जो होगा यहाँ पर That is number of particle electrons. We are solving it for electrons, not for the nucleus. So, <clears throat> for hydrogen atom, z equals one. We have hydrogen atom. के लिए z equals one है. So this will be psi of one zero zero equals one upon root by one by a zero. This to three by two exponential of minus r by a zero. Now in atomic units, in terms of atomic units, in the atomic units, we have seen that a zero equals one atomic unit. We can take a zero as one atomic unit. Here, we a zero is the answer. Our so if we take that as one. This will be one upon one will be equal to one to the power of three by two will also be equal to one. So ये term हमारा vanish हो जाता है. ये term में a zero one हो जाता है, so exponential of minus r रहेगा. So it will be one uh, psi one zero zero will be equal to one upon root pi into e to the power of minus r. So this will be a very simple equation that we get it for. n equals one, l equals zero, and m is equal to zero. ये और बात तो हमारा होता है यहाँ पे. This is n is equal to one, so it is one. 
एन इक्वल टू जीरो जो होता है वो एस ऑर्बिटल के लिए होता है सो इट इज एस ऑर्बिटल सो ये वन एस ऑर्बिटल का इक्वेशन हुआ वन एस ऑर्बिटल के इक्वेशन पे इतने सिंपली हम अगर देख सकते हैं तो इट बिकम्स वेरी इजी फॉर अस टू रिमेम्बर तो ये लाता इतना डिफिकल्ट नहीं है कंपेयर टू हमारा ऊपर वाला जो इक्वेशन था फर्स्ट उससे ये काफी सिंपल टर्म्स में आता है 